35 trillion dollars yes you heard that right 35 trillion dollars you can you can clean your ears out i'll say it again 35 trillion dollars hello beautiful people shalom money makers that is just a mind-boggling number we're going to talk about that that number what does it mean what does it mean for us what does it mean for us going forward why we must 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 take our future into our own hands right all i ask from you is to give me a beautiful smile smash that like button and let's get into it so currently right the total crypto market is at 2.36 trillion so you remember the the number i said before 35 trillion the crypto market is only 2.36 trillion so it's all the crypto in all the land <laughs> You know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, everything, all the list, right, of the, all the cryptos out there, only 2.36 trillion, right? And when you have a situation like that, you say, oh, you know, if you think about it, that's not a lot of money. That's, you know, relatively small, right, as a number, okay? The total U.S. debt just hit $35 trillion, right? And they're spending this year... 5.5 trillion this is how much the u.s government is spending right so the total crypto market is 2.36 trillion dollars and the u.s government is spending just this year 5.5 trillion so this is just a perspective to remind us how little the crypto market still is right you know we think about it uh, only a small amount of people around the world are invested in cryptocurrency, right? Let's say people under 20, maybe there's a small amount. People over 60, there's probably a small amount. So then you have between 20 and 60, you have people around the world that maybe one out of 10, is probably even more, one out of 15 is maybe investing in, in crypto. And even those one out of 15, maybe one of some of them invested in 2020 or invested in 2017 and, and then they sold and they forgot about it. But almost everybody, right, is invested in the stock market, either directly or indirectly, right? So you could have people um, that with their 401ks or their retirement plans or their savings accounts or all kinds of things like that, that most of the world, right, is invested in these things. And... In a roundabout way, those things are invested in the stock market, but almost none of them are invested in the crypto market. So it's only a small amount of money that is currently in the crypto market. If the crypto market gets even close in 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years to where the stock market is now, and remember the stock market started like it, I don't know, around the beginning of the 1900s, so 1910s somewhere around 1910, I don't know exactly, right? We know it was around in 1929 when it crashed, right? <laughs> but if you think about it, it's it's not been around for, for that long, okay? And of course, people made money, lost money around uh, along the way, right? And it's very important to remember that the crypto market is still in its infancy. It's only 12 years uh, old-ish, right? Around that kind of, uh, we've had, you know, four, this is, will be the fourth cycles, fourth cycle, and if you think about it, a 12 year old is still, you know, he's not even bar mitzvah yet. <laughs> a 12 year old is still, you know, the, the brain isn't developed, you know, he's smarter than a toddler, he's better than an eight year old, but he's not, you know, 18, he's not 25, he's not 35, right? 35 is already a seasoned person, right? 25, you're a little bit better, right? 15, you're stupid. <laughs> Your brain is not, you know, it's not fully formed. You do shenanigans, you do stuff, right? Um, so the crypto market, it's still, it's still young, right? And there's going to be, you know, like any young person, there's going to be scams. There's going to be some trials and tribulations. There's going to be some, you know, uh, bad times. There's going to be some good times, right? This is how the crypto market is, right? Now, this week, we do have the Fed meeting in one day and 20 hours. And it seems that the Fed is going to tell us that they're keeping interest rates to where the, it is, right? If you think about it, things have got so much more expensive, right? We have, of course, inflation in the U.S. It keeps getting worse. And they added on to that interest rate. So if 
you go back four or five years, interest rates were zero, right? Basically zero. So people could take out money and buy stuff and basically pay no interest, right? Now you have a situation where if somebody wants to take money to invest, right? To let's say invest in real estate or invest in a business, they have to make a lot more money in order to pay off that loan. It's kind of a chicken and an egg thing because maybe, okay, people are making less money. Sorry, they're, they're, the loans are higher, but then on the flip side, they'll have less money and then they'll buy less. And then if they buy less, producers will have to reduce the prices. But the producers also have to take out loans, some of them. And they're, they're, it's like a chicken and an egg kind of thing where we're seeing inflation isn't going down the way the Fed wants to do. So it, it was able to subside it a little bit, but it can't hit it all the way down to that 2%. It's, it's, it's not doing what it wants to do. Now, we'll see what the Fed has to say. We'll see what the Fed wants to do going forward. Is he bullish? Is he bearish? Right. The, the word on the street is September is going to be when they start reducing it. Maybe November as well, 57% of another reduction. And then going into next year, another 50-ish percent of another reduction. So we'll see how this plays out and how, as we get closer and closer to the end of the year, how we see movements. Now, remember, we might have another uh, Fed chairman by the next year, right? If, if Trump wins the election, he might uh, fire the current Fed chairman. And then who knows what's going to happen, right? Um, so we'll see what happens with that. Now, think about this. Currently, cryptocurrency is in, in its infancy, right? It's in its infancy. We, we talked about it, 12 years old, still young, right? Think about this. The longer we are investing, now, again, this is not just for crypto. This is for everything, right? We have the power of compound interest. Now, if you think about it, most likely you're not going to buy a meme coin that a thousand X's, right? Maybe, but probably not, right? The way that usually people gain wealth is by compound interest. Now this is generation over generation over generation, because if my grandma, right, um, invested and she leaves me X or she leaves my father X, right? And then he, using compound interest, is able to leave me 100x, and then I'm able to leave my kids 1000x, and then their next, so each generation we can grow significantly, right, because we have that seed. People that their parents don't leave them much, it's hard. It's hard if you don't have, you know, that backing, right? And so we have to take our hands, our future into our own hands. So we don't want to say, oh, well, if my parents will leave me X, Y, Z, then I'll be all good. No, we need to think about ourselves. Maybe something happens, maybe, ah, we don't know, right? And we can't look at the government and say, well, I'm going to have social security, right? Or I'll have my 401k, which is great. 401k is good. I'll have my, you know, my house. So fine, right? But what am I going to leave my kids? The 401k in the house? It's not a lot, right? At the end of the day. Who knows what the prices of houses are going to be by then? Maybe your house, you know, you leave a house, so maybe you have three kids and they divide it and they can't even buy a new house because it's not enough. I don't know. Something like that could happen. So it's important that we put our take our future into our own hands. Now, if we take fifty thousand dollars, right, and we put in another five hundred, right? Let's say we were able to save fifty thousand dollars, five thousand year over 10, 10 years, right? So now we're th twenty. Uh, eight from 18 to 28 we were able to save five thousand dollars a year and we are able to get fifty thousand dollars and now we have a job or right? a good job and we're able to give five hundred dollars uh, to our monthly contribution and let's say we're 28 so we want to retire like let's say 68 so that's 40 years right and let's say we're going to be conservative here right let's say we get 10 percent, which is the s p 500 uh average right so if that happens, right, do, 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 we would have $4.9 million uh, to retire. Now, maybe this is a, a lot of money in 40 years, and maybe this is a little money in 40 years. Uh, that's kind of hard to tell, right? Um, you know, today it's a, you know, a very nice amount of money. But again, um, what looked like a very nice amount of money 
40 years ago, so in the 1980s, let's say a million dollars, right? Um, when, when my dad, when I was like born, um, he said that uh, my, this is like personal stuff, but my parents were married for about five years before I was born. And people would ask them, why are you not having children? And, uh, and my dad would joke and he says, well, when I make, I'm waiting to make a million dollars and then I'm going to have a, my first child. <laughs> uh, and um, that was the joke. And then when my father's boss heard that my mother was pregnant, he went to him and he was like, oh my God, uh, did you make a million dollars? And he was like, no, no, <laughs> you know, you know how it is. You know how it is, right? <laughs> um, so the, back then a million dollars was like, wow, right? Okay. And so maybe $5 million is not going to be a lot. So let's think about this. Let's say we're contributing a thousand dollars, right? We do a thousand dollars every single month. That's already seven and a half million dollars. I believe in 40 years, seven and a half million dollars will still be a nice amount. Now let's say, we pump, jump it up a little bit to only 15%, right? From 10 to 15. Now we have $34 million. $34 million, I think, in 40 years will still be a lot of money, right? Maybe it's like $10 million today, but that's still a lot of money, right? And if you're able to retire with $10 million and you have, you know, another, let's say, 20 years to live, right? Um, so that's $10 million, right? Divided by... 20 divided by 12, it's about $40,000 a month. I think even in 40 years, $40,000 a month is going to be a very nice amount to, to live on as a retiree, right? And so it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. Uh, so that was parallel because we, we took, uh, we took uh, 10 million instead of 34 million. Let's say, right, we do even more than that. We do 30% a year. Hold on to your socks, right? That's already $3.25 billion, right? If you're able to do that, and look, these the years, the later years, right? This is why it's so important to start investing early. The later years are the years that you start making the big bucks, right? Because of the compound interest, the later you get, the higher, the more parabolic it goes, right? And then every year here, look, you're making this is 875 million and the next year it's already another 250 million dollars that's why the rich keep getting richer and that's why the you know when you look at the list of the richest people in the world right um that that number keeps going up and up and up and up every single year why because of compound interest and they keep investing and of course they spend but they are invested they're invested in stocks they're invested in bonds they're invested in real estate so the number keeps going up like elon i think now is like 250 billion dollars right that's how much he's worth and the amazon ceo that everybody says they look like uh, <laughs> also his numbers keep going up because of compound interest right so I don't know how much we'll have in, in 40 years, uh, but if I have, um, what was that, $3.2 billion, I think I'll be very happy. What do you say? Will you be happy with $3.2 billion? I think you will as well, right? So we got there in 40 years. Yes, it's 40 years from now, but we can still get there if we invest wisely, okay? So don't forget to smash the like button. Of course, not financial advice, and you should always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, Let's make a lot of money.